I am making a mini siren using an old Lego train control box left max right max that I'm using to control the fan the fan the uh, chopper speed and this is a this is a very very bad stator um there are 11 holes as in comparison to this thing's 12 so I might be in this wrong I think it's a 12 11 port ratio or the other way around which is really bad so I plugged a bunch of the holes up and uh, so these are rectangular these are circle this is just a first draft of whatever I'm making so um I'm gonna it's gonna be difficult to do this without with holding one hand in fact it's actually gonna be impossible so what I'm gonna do is put my camera here and that'll do I'm gonna film using both hands First, let's get this set up correctly. Here's right. Here's left. And the correct way to drive it is right, I believe. Um... So I'm going to put it on full right. Oh, dang. That's a giant example. That's a I don't know if you can hear that high-pitched whine. It's not the scratching noise. Um, that's it moving right and just for laughs let's put it on the left maybe I'm doing it wrong whoa that's not touching anything yeah that's not touching anything Sorry, that's my garage door. Um, well, with with those results, I think I'm actually going to try doing... I think I'm going to actually try, um, try and run a little attack. I don't know. This might, this might end up bad, but let's see this. No, I can't run attack. All right, so you just heard it was loud. This is an old hovercraft engine. This is really, really old. It's rusty, but it's the best motor I could get, so. CJ Foley 96. Mini siren. Possibly failure, but I think I got the right ADS here, so so if I can get my mom's Dremel and see if I can actually make a good one. <laughs>